Good morning once again, my Live, Build, Change friends. I hope you are ready this morning to face the day with courage and with boldness that is based on the truth of God about you, about you, about what God says about you. Because, you know, we get wrapped up in all kinds of feelings of insecurity and voices from the past come in and tell us things about ourselves, things like we're not worthy or we're not capable or we're a failure or we'll never amount to anything. And those things are not what God says is true about us. And we have to do the work and fight the battle of starting every day with the right mindset, a mindset based on the truth of what God says to us. And this morning, I want to remind you, this morning mindset is here to help. That's why I do these morning mindsets, is to help you get your mind right at the beginning of the day. We've been looking at the biblical person Moses. And we are in chapter three of the book of Exodus. And this is very relevant to what I was just talking about, because Moses is approached by God through this burning bush, and he's given some commands, some things to follow. God says he's seen the affliction of his people, and he wants Moses to go as his servant, as his instrument, to lead the people out. And if you know anything about Moses' background, you know that Egypt is a scary place for him. He ran away from Egypt because his life was in danger there due to some actions he had done in the past. But even though God tells him those who were seeking his life are now gone, he's still afraid. He still doesn't want to go back. And he's listening, I believe, to voices in his head, voices from the past. Moses first of all, is a little concerned about the thing. He says, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? Now remember where Moses is. He's a shepherd. He's living out in the land of Midian in the desert, far away from Egypt, far away from the palace in Egypt where he was raised. And he is really afraid. It's what you can hear in his voice. And God says, I will be with you. I will be with you. Isn't that a great promise God gives to us even today, that he is with us? But Moses continues on kind of debating this command with God. And he's got questions. He says, if I come to the people of Israel and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they ask me, what is his name? What shall I say to them? Now, I've always wondered why Moses asked that particular question. And I think as I've been studying this, I don't know this for a fact, but it seems like he would ask that sort of question because in Egypt, there are many, many gods and they all have a name. There's Set and Isis and all these other gods, Ra. And Moses realizes perhaps that his people, the people of Israel, have been in Egypt so long, they're used to thinking of gods in terms of names. And here he is, he would come and say, the God of your fathers has sent me, and he would have no name. And up until that point, God had not revealed a name for himself at all. And I think that's an important question for us to be asking today. Who is your God? What is his name? Our God, our Savior, is Jesus Christ. There is power in that name of Jesus. There is power in being his child, being one of his servants. There is authority and dominion and strength given to us by virtue of his name. And it's our responsibility to remind ourselves of that every day of our lives. And so as we wrap up this morning's Morning Mindset, I want to encourage you to remember you are a child of Jesus Christ. You are a co-heir of all the riches of God with him. There's nothing in this day you cannot handle as his child. Let's pick it up here for tomorrow's Morning Mindset edition of the Live, Build, Change podcast.